can you bring us up to speed on where we are with John Suter at the moment? Same as it's been for the last week, to be honest with you. No more offers, nothing. John um, didn't train today, actually, just got a wee ankle knock, but um, should be available for tomorrow night. He's going to be fit, yeah? Yeah, he'll be fine for tomorrow night. It's just, um, you know, just waiting to see what happens, to be honest with you. The closer it gets to this deadline, though, is it more worrying or more frustrating, or do you just have to put that to the back of your mind? I just need to go on, mate. You know, we're, we're doing a prep today, you know, we know kind of where we are, but, you know, and then we'll make a decision tomorrow morning. Yeah, so, yeah, so just part and parcel it. Do you think you still will be able to get someone else in if he does go today? Yeah, look, we're actively looking to see what's out there in the market. We've said all along that, you know, it has to be the right one that comes in, so there's no panic here. We've got some other good defenders here, but first and foremost, I'd like to keep John if we can. Do you expect to do any other business? No. How satisfied are you with? What you've got in yeah, game. I'm very happy with the squad. Very happy with the squad that we got in the summer, and then we've added some strong additions to it as well. So, yeah, we're pleased. You know, if we can keep a hold of John, it'll be a brilliant window. Thank you. So, is that the only thing that you're working on, Robbie? A potential replacement for John if he goes, if he doesn't go, you're you're set, you're sorted. Yeah, that's right. I guess it's a reflection of how well your guys have done for you. I mean, if, if you're looking back, what your last ten matches take away the results against Celtic and Rangers that, that seven straight wins if I'm not too much mistaken that the league obviously says you're you're the best of the rest I'm guessing is that your your mindset there just now at the club yeah look we're, we're doing all right but you know we'd like to beat Rangers and Celtic as well you know so we don't want to get that mindset of right we're happy to beat the other teams but you know we're also happy to get beat off the old firm you know we want to win these games you know we've, they've been close games we've you know we've performed well in them and that's the next step for us to build a team and a mentality that can can beat the old firm. For you, these Edinburgh derbies, personally, what do they mean to you? Well, we know they're huge games for us and it's a huge opportunity. If you're in a good vein of form to escalate that, you know, and that's what we are at the moment. So we know that you know, the players will be ready for it, the players are looking forward to it. We've got a number of guys that haven't experienced it before, so it'll be an entertaining night. Or was something that you had a wee spark, a wee twinkle in your eye for these yeah, games, if I remember correctly? They're great games, you know, you look forward to them. You know, at the start of the season, you look to see even the first the first Edinburgh Derby is, and then the next one, and then the following two. So, yeah, it's going to be a good game, and we, you know, we're going to in, in decent form, but we know that, you know, a lot of time it doesn't matter, it's how you start the game, so we have to be ready for it. And curiously, their ground's been a, a particularly happy hunting ground. I don't think you've lost there in almost four years. Yeah, well, let's hope it's uh, four and a half years then, by the time we get to the end of tonight, tomorrow night. Robbie, just, just staying on that, um, your good record at Easter Road, it, it's almost mirrored by Hibs at Tynecastle. Well. I don't think that the home side has won the Edinburgh Derby in the last nine meetings. You got any ideas why that might be the case? None whatsoever. If I did, then I'd be able to change it. So, uh, just part of the game, in it, you know. So, we, we go there, as you said, we've got a decent record, but we have to go and perform. You know, you can't turn up these games and, and go at half measures. You have to be full out, you have to be ready, and hopefully the players will be. What have you made of Hibs since Sean Maloney's come in just before Christmas? Yeah, obviously they've changed the style a wee bit, you know, a lot more possession based, you know, in that system when they drop the midfielders in and the striker drops in. So although they got a lot of ball in that area, you know, it's the you know, it's the next step forward that they're probably going to need to develop a wee bit. But, you know, we know going there, we've got a style of play, we'll stick to that and hopefully we get the three points. Do you feel it's a good time to play them there on a bit of a sticky run and, and as we know you're on a very strong run, you last three on the road as well. To be honest, it's always a good time to play a derby. Like I said before, if you're on a, a good run of form, then it gives you a chance to escalate that. If you're not, it gives you a chance to kick-start. So for us, you know, we're looking forward to going to the game and you know, if we perform well, then we think we can get a result. Has uh, rescheduling from New Year worked in your favour a bit in terms of you know, who you've got available and who you've been able to add? It's kind of, you know, it's allowed us to, to get Beningame back in again, you know, get him fit, but obviously we've lost a couple of injuries as well, so, you know, sense the reason we've got, we've got a good strong squad here, you know, not got a huge squad, but one that we feel that MD can come in and, and add value to the, the team. You've obviously got a lot of good central midfielders at the minute, Robbie, I mean, how big of a choice is that with Beningame, Devlin and Haring in particular? Yeah, look, it's a choice we need to make, the three of them, although Benny was out, Peter and Devlin are playing really well and then, you know, over the last couple of weeks a couple of games we've tried to rotate it to get them all fit and ready and then it's down to selection for tomorrow. As a Hearts player, how big a boost do you get when you run out Easter Road and see three and a half, four thousand Hearts fans in that stand? That's massive, you know, to, to be able to take that through there, you know. There's not many games nowadays that you can 
you can take the full allocation um, and, and away end. You know, we go to Rangers and Celtic, and we get you know slivers of fans. So it's very uh, it's pleasing that we can still get the full main stand there. Or sorry, the full away end there, and put on a performance for them. Injury-wise, just how getting suits, uh, how getting Smith. Yes, yes. So everyone else trained today, apart from Johnny, but we expect him to be ready for tomorrow.